Hello everybody out there and welcome back here with the future once again and it's a very special um, thrift shop and flea market finds. It's volume two uh, but as I say special is because it didn't take long for me to get up a second one because I went to a local flea market called the Dutch Mills Flea Market and made a hell of a score with a lot of cool stuff and I'm gonna do this outside because I'm in the middle of um, bringing stuff in. I'm trying not to be too loud for the neighbors or anything talking too loud but um, let's go through some of this stuff that I picked up um yeah uh, fifteen dollars for the entire lot here that I picked up so I'm gonna go through and name off you know all the VHS that I went through and organized I tried to do this video one other time when it was a little lighter out but um, the problem was that I did not have my video camera um, charged up enough and uh, it kind of like turned dark in the middle so I just wanted to do it more organized than I did before but some of the cool finds that I made here I thought these were really cool finds and I'm using the light on my camera too because it is dark out but um, some of the cool finds that I made you can see here these are Star Trek um, these are Star Trek the next generation figures and it says space the final frontier there and I got two of them and as I said this whole lot was 15 there was a guy there clearing his booth out he said he was moving over to a new booth so he said he would clear this all out and gave me all this stuff for 15 bucks this is two boxes of VHS here um, I have two boxes here in the trunk and this other stuff so books as well um so let's get into checking this stuff out these are very cool um sorry about the glare from the camera here because i did have to use the um, light because yes you can see the moon out it is um eerily dark out here guys so when i start going over these horror movies um it might feel a little eerie out here in the dark no i'm just playing but anyway um star trek the next generation kind of goes um with the dark as well um, but these figures are from 1994 by Playmates, and you got to excuse um, passing cars and stuff as I am outside. Um, but it says up here to the right, you know, 494 Walmart, um, and I got this in the package for 15 bucks. Um, this says it's an exclusive Playmate space cap inside, um, and these were new then. I love the 90s style backing i definitely will be putting these up on the wall somewhere and on the back you had other figures from the line that you could get it did not have you know they didn't have spock or anybody there um what do, did i did i did see that one right there that commander laforge or whatever that is um i did see wharf but he was gone when i went there i was here at this place one other time and i think they remembered me because they they're like hey this guy's got a deal for you so um, I went over there and uh, they had some other stuff too and he wanted to do a whole lot for like 30 bucks but I talked him down to 25 I paid 15 for my half and then I gave the rest of the stuff to my buddy. Um, but you see Lieutenant Barclay um, on the back there, Hugh Borg is also another one and that's the other one that I picked up from this line and I love the cyborgs or the Borgs in um, the next generation. I'm not a huge fan of it but I have seen some of the episodes. Um, you see down there, Starfleet gear, it says, on e on both of these two. And they were from the same line, and they had three from the same line. The other ones were like Deep Space Nine and another series of uh, Next Generation. Um, so I tried to pick two of them that were um, from the same exact line. And it says there, um, seventh season um, collector series. So pretty sweet. Um, pretty mint, too, for 1994. And you see on the back there, coming soon, Deep Space Nine. I might go back and try to get all the figures that I saw. But 1994 Playmates, these uh, deserve a standalone. But here in my thrift shop and flea market finds volume two, um, you know, it's part of the lot. So I had to put them in there. Um, let's get on to some other little figures that I had here um, in the uh, buy. I'm going to put the Star Wars figures over here to the uh, side. So... Um, I don't ruin them or anything. The grass is kind of getting wet now, too, so don't want to set anything down. Um, this was like a 2016 collectible, like, reusable calendar um, that I picked up here. And uh, I don't have much use for that, but it is unopened, so uh, maybe I can use it for trade bait on something sometime. You never know. Um, here's a little Sweethearts tin. Um, Neko, it says there. Um, I thought this was kind of cool. My buddy, this was in his stuff, and he's like, I'll give you this if you want. And I'm like, sure. I can always stash some stuff into these little figures that actually would go um, good in here. Um, and let's check out these little figures. I picked them up. They were like in baggies and they were like 50 cents a piece. Um, here is a Frankenstein and it says on the back here, um, 
McDonald's, um, and it says, uh, made in Vietnam there. This is 2015. Um, I forget the actual line that this is from. Um, it might be like, um, Monster House. Um, I'm thinking Monster House maybe is where I seen this guy. So, um, not Monster House, but, uh, man, I can't even think of the movie now. If I think of it, I'll let you know one of them kids once. Um, here you have, um, Iron Man as well. Um, I think he's Trans Hotel Transylvania is what that's from. Anyway, uh, here's the little Iron Man that I thought was cool. Um, his arm seems to be a little bit, yeah, he's got articulation there at the wrist too. Um, these like are these little hero squad figures that you can get. Kind of cheap, but kind of cool. I like these little figures. Um, here's a little cool little Venom figure that I thought was pretty neat. Um, doesn't say what, uh, yeah, it does. 2008 there or 2006. I can't really make it out. Marvel. Um, so that's pretty cool. Little Venom. Um, I already had this um, from my last thrift shop and flea market find video, which I'll put up in the right and go check it out. Um, I got this Mario 2004 Wendy's um, Kids Mill toy, and look what I got to go along with it. I don't know what it's from, but it does say Nintendo on the side. Um, but this says 2014, um, and it's McDonald's as well, but it's uh, Princess Peach there on her bike. Um, yeah, and you do have the 2016 Nintendo there, and then your McDonald's stamp back here. So it goes great alongside Mario there. Can't beat that. Oh, let's get the Princess Peach stand up, but pretty cool, I thought. Um, check out my World of Nintendo figure reviews, too. So go back in my showcase and review corner and check them out, because I do a lot of World of Nintendo figure reviews lately. I've done a lot anyway. I'll put that up in the right as well, the showcase and review corner. Here's a little General Grievous um, motion activated fig there. You know, got the little wind up action. Um, I think he just, I don't know. I'd have to use my other hand to do it. I ain't going to do it. Um, here's a, uh, I don't know what this is, a little spider monkey of some sort. Um, had some little soldiers in here too. I think I might drop some of these in my trunk because I think I had like four of these. But oh well. Um, here's a little Donatello. That was pretty cool. Got these for like um, 50 cents, like a dollar for the entire lot of these little figures. A little like top spinner of, um, it's a little top here, of uh, Raphael. And also I have here, he just fell off his stand there, but um, Shredder as well. So you can take them off the stand and uh, not use them on the top. And I have some other one of these top figures, so uh, maybe that top will work for those as well. Hmm, cool. Um, so there's uh, Shredder and uh, Raphael there. And then a Leonardo um, version of a... Bike. Let's see what this is from. Um, what year? McDonald's. Uh, 2012. So I think it's when the first uh, Michael Bay movie came out. Um, is what this is from. Maybe you're wrong though, but you've got his classic uh, swords there. Um, but that's the little figures that I came across. Some Turtles, Nintendo. That's the kind of stuff I like looking for. And as I said, I think this is uh, Hotel Transylvania. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but you got to like all that stuff. I like my small figures if you haven't seen my last video. Um, here's some books that I picked up. Um, and some CDs and stuff. Um, this is kind of cool. It's uh, Pink Floyd. Um, the Australian DVD. The Australian Pink Floyd Show. Kind of cool. They had it marked for three bucks, but I got all this stuff for fifteen, like I said. Um, here is a uh, Joni Mitchell Big Yellow Taxi here. Um, rare Germany. It says made in Germany. Rare, five bucks. Uh, well, I got the whole lot for fifteen, so I can't complain about that. Uh, Ten Thousand Maniacs MTV Unplugged. They wanted two dollars for that one. Yeah, these are marked uh, two dollars for this fish. Um, looks like a live album that they did so any fish fans out there and i just got my car too so yeah you can tell i'm from uh illinois here um as you can see my plates but uh just got my car here too so these would be fun to listen to this one i thought was really cool they wanted two dollars for it too but they threw it in this slot with all these videos and little stuff and it's the casino soundtrack and you gotta love the soundtrack of casino you gotta love the movie casino itself anyway Got some good stuff on this one though. Muddy Waters, Devo, Eric Burden, 
cream tony bennett oh yeah you gotta love that here's a couple of my daughter actually has a leafster which i do need to try to get back um i let a friend borrow it and trying to get it back maybe but these are unopened games for that system and this is digging for dinosaurs which is right up my alley and an unopened um cars pixar disney pixar cars so you can't beat those two to add to the leapster section of my collection that i've kind of taken over since my daughter um you know stopped playing with the leapster games or whatnot and here are some audio books i don't know much about on stephen j cannell uh cold hit um and they are on cd um, here's, uh, you know, Sam Bourne. I don't know much about that one. Then you have Tammy Hogue, Dust to Dust, read by Tim Tenay. And I'm, like I said, I just, you know, I said I'll do 15 for all of it, and all this stuff was in it. So here's the baggies that the uh, figures came in that were marked like 50 cents a piece, but you know, I'll put them there. Um, here's some books now that I got into. Um, this is kind of cool. This day in music, this guy kept pointing this one to me before I did the deal, and I'm like, yeah, I'll take that one. Um, oh, look at that, Bart Simpson. Gotta love it. Beatles. Or not the Beatles, I think that's it. I've seen some Rolling Stones there. So this is a very cool, interesting book. Um, here's an interesting book, too, if you like uh, conversations with mummies. I do like mummies, ancient Egyptian stuff, Egyptian history. So very cool stuff here. Um, on this thrift shop and flea market finds video. Um, here was a pretty much practically new, um, they wanted $2 for it originally. So if you add all this stuff up, they gave it to me for 15 bucks for everything that you see in this video. Um, they kind of ripped themselves off, but you know what? That's what I'm all about. Getting the deals. Star Wars, the Clone Wars, two pages of stickers and all the stickers are intact. So I thought that was kind of cool some kind of like activity style book but in color here so something a little different that i would have never picked up um here's just some random books webster's medical dictionary first aid guide uh the face of fear as i said i didn't know anything about any of these books they were just in there um aztec there were a few few interesting ones though that were in the lot next time you see me um that's what i'm gonna say and uh Ancient Cowboy. <laughs> Sounded kind of interesting. Here's one that I'm going to give to my mom that I picked up out of here. Lipstick Jungle. Um, invasion of Privacy. I mean, I've already went through $15 worth of stuff, I'm guaranteeing you. Um, and then this was cool. The official... They wanted $1.50 for this originally. I'm going to take the sticker off this thing. But the official Overstreet Comic Book Price Guide Companion. Uh, fourth Addiction. Um, I don't know what year this is from. Maybe if I look around, I could find it. But I'm not sure I want to try to. Uh, I'm trying to get through this. 1990, so kind of cool. Gives you price from 1990, so that's an older book, too. So I don't go in my comic book section of my collection. But, yeah, some of these stickers got to go. That's one I'm keeping. Um, and somebody in this was kind of cool because, you know, I'm not opposed to Beanie Babies because they are vintage. I'm not a lover of Beanie Babies, but I will definitely take this stuff. Um, somebody was a Beanie Baby, collect Beanie Baby collector um, in this lot because you got uh, collecting beanies fun for fun and profit. You have Beanie Lover video. Um, so some interesting VHSs, and these are sealed, never opened. Um, so that'll go in my Beanie Babies lot. Um, this will go Collector's Value Guide. Kind of interesting. I thought these were interesting. They were guides to the Grateful Dead Bears. Um, Bean Bear Collectibles. thought they were kind of cool. So any Grateful Dead fans out there, they're exactly alike too. I got two of them. Um, very sweet. Um, and this is unopened still in the packaging. Um, what's the year on this? Uh, it's got to have a year on it. Come on. Give us a year. Oh, I'm thinking it's 99. Because the other one that looks almost like it is like 19.99. So this is the um, official membership kit. Man, these things were so hot when I was a kid. These are kind of cool to have. And this is the uh, official calendar. The 19.99 Beanie Babies official calendar. So many of you may not know beanie babies but if you grew up in the 90s you definitely do um they fell off and died a quick death but they might be making a comeback never know 
1999 calendar for Beanie Baby lovers. Oh man, Les and Sue Fox is the unofficial one. Um, so I have the official and unofficial, and these are both sealed and uh, unopened too, as you can see. Um, they were wanting three bucks a piece on these, so I got somebody's Beanie Baby collection. Um, you know, just a stupid, I guess I can't believe they wanted a dollar for prize winning recipes. This looks like it might have came out of like a magazine or something, I don't know. But I thought this was kind of cool. 1965 Charlie Brown Christmas book by Charles M. Schultz, the original. Um, 1965 may have been the year, I'm not 100% sure, but that might have been the year that um, the um, special on TV was made too. But they may have made that after. I'm not sure, I'm gonna have to look that up. But this is a book rendition, children's book rendition from 1965, as you can see there, of Charlie Brown, of A Charlie Brown Christmas have that on dvd it's a great one and now i'm gonna have to move some of this stuff off so bear with me because i'm gonna get into showing off all the vhs that i have i want to thank everybody who has tuned in lately and i'm on this small chair too here so i'm trying to do this it's a little tough but i'm glad i got all these lined up for everybody because it would have took forever um the other way that i was doing it um but let's see here get the camera back here and yeah one more time i love these star trek the next generation gotta love those so that stuff will be going inside here in a second um but this is cool um i got all these two like i said 15 total for everything and you know um i couldn't pass it up i mean there's not a lot of gems in here but being a dvd vhs collector which i will put up my blu-ray dvd and vhs collection zone up to the right so go back and check that out if you have not go back and check out all my dvd and vhs collection updates but i might as well just run through all the videos that i picked up in these four boxes because you know what um i picked them up in the lot so uh let's do it we're making pretty good time on this too um you got still magnolias which i got a couple of Saving Private Ryan already have. You have Lord of the Rings here. Almost Famous. Postman, 8mm, held for ransom. Two Lethal Weapon 2s. Two different copies, versions. Um, the Karate Kid, Legends of the Fall. Um, so not too bad. A lot of um, stuff that I would say is kind of um, random here too. Um, you got the Centennial series too here. I have the DVD on this. This is like one season of it. Bowling for Columbine. Psycho, gotta love that. Shawshank Redemption, Mask of Zorro, Meet the Parents, Dead Calm, Just Cause. Oh yeah, this is one of my favorites that I got. Heavy Metal, that's worth it alone there, the 15. Uh, People vs. Larry Flint, Out of Sight, Valentine, weird horror one. Um, the Last House on the Left, I think that's the original too. Yeah, it is. I don't have that. It's kind of a cool pickup. Um, Alien Resurrection. My boy uh, Michael the Two Ply. Might like that. Uh, the Mummy Returns. I think this is. Uh, no, it's not. And a couple of these were totally sealed, unopened. The next one I'm going to turn upside down. It is none other than In Boys Town. Or Boys Town. Spencer Tracy and Mick Ro Mickey Rooney. And this is sealed, too. I'm not going to open the sealed ones either. Galaxy Quest. Always a good watch. Fatal Attraction. 3,000 Miles to Graceland, which I have on DVD. Murder at 1600. Um, an American Werewolf in Paris, which is the follow-up to the American Werewolf in London, which I do not have or not have never seen. A lot of Hitler ones in this, too, for any Hitler fans out there. Or history fans. And I'm not going to say a fan of Hitler, but... There are fans of history and World War II history that might, you know, get off on these. A Third Reich, A New Regime, A Fish Called Wanda, cool pickup right there. Um, analyze This, Desperate Measure, A Crack in the Roof, this is the one that almost left behind. The guy's like, hey, you left one. There it was. Still Magnolias again. Absolute Power, Mobsters, Wind Talkers, Hi Mom. Um, this looks like a, yeah, this was like an older one with, uh, Robert De Niro. Kind of weird. I'll have to check that out. I don't know much about it. Um, Blue Velvet. All wrapped up. Gotta love it. Dennis Hopper. Um, Rules of Engagement. 
Purgatory Flats, Ghost in the Darkness, a better copy than the one I already had, so I'm glad I got that, actually. Um, here's a good one that I almost forgot about. Leap of Faith, Steve Martin. This is one of the ones I remember watching as a kid a lot. What year did this come out? Had to be the 80s sometimes, or early 90s. I'm not sure, I can't really see. But what a movie that is, if you never saw it. Spider, kind of weird. Traffic, I think this is sealed, yep. Traffic sealed. Anger Management, uh, Highlander, The Final Dimension, so one of the Highlander movies. Huh. Never saw that. Kind of probably terrible. The General's Daughter. So going over this next box, we got two more to go. Three more to go. Um, we have uh, Outland. Never saw that. Stir of Echoes, the 60s, the series, Falling Down, I have that, but oh well. Crocodile Hunter, this is sealed. Um, rest in peace to him, Steve Irwin. Like I said, I did look through these. Uh, Leaving Las Vegas, very crazy, controversial film by uh, Nicolas Cage. War of the Worlds again, gotta love that, one of my favorite films. Um, Dirty Dancing, Dragon Slayer, The Negotiator, Aces in the Heart. Shredder, Tomb Raider here. I think this is a sealed. Yep. Um, the Night of the General. Night of the Generals, I should say. It's like a World War II style movie. Uh, Presumed Innocent, Cut, Scream, uh, Kansas, Armageddon, Dumb and Dumber, sealed. High Plains Drifter, Risky Business, uh, sealed. One that made Tom Cruise a star boys from Brazil. Um, the remake Ocean's Eleven here. I have a lot of these. Dead Man Walking. Um, that's a pretty good one. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, of course. Romancing the Stone. Lord of the Rings. Uh, Two Towers. So I have a couple of the Lord of the Rings ones here. I have Fellowship of the Ring and the Two Towers now. Um, Bugs and Daffy. Wartime cartoons. I thought that was kind of cool. Cartoons from wartime, pretty sweet. Doctor Strange Love, Hider in the House, Night of the Juggler. I don't know which ones of these are like rare and out of print, but I remember hearing about Night of the Juggler before. Hider in the House, like I said, Silent Running, um, which is a sci-fi crazy looking one. Look at that on the front. Love some of the covers of these. Daz Root, The Mummy, a version of The Day the Earth Stood Still. I have it on v DVD, but not VHS. You have Ransom, Elmo Saves Christmas, Afterburn, Daddy's Dying, Air Force One, uh, The Right to Main, Remain Silent, Patch Adams, Robert Williams, uh, Kingpin, and Kingpin. Two different movies called Kingpin, which I didn't know until I made this score. Lawless, which is not the lawless, or flawless. Here we go, not lawless, Dustin Hoffman. Or Philip Seymour Hoffman and De Niro. That's got to be good. The Fugitive Sealed. Kind of cool. So that's all for those two boxes. And then I have two more boxes and call it a video here. Hope everybody enjoyed it so far. Um, yeah. I uh, ended up finally... Oh my, it's sealed too and I never will open it. The old Titanic. I wasn't going to get it any other way, but I got it in this. Uh, Black Like Me, which is interesting. Uh, movie starring James Whitmore where he paints himself black and like um, during the black civil rights movement. Mary Riley, um, Jim Carrey, Man on the Moon, A League of Their Own, Castaway, Executive Decision. Um, I can't even read the title of this one. Street Walking? Huh. Austin Powers, Spy Who Shagged Me, Mel Gibson, Payback. Here's Hannibal, Special Edition, Deuces Wild. Few Good Men, Sealed. No, it's it's not Sealed. Uh, Far North, older one. R. Xmas, Mercury Rising, The Formula, Cruel and Unusual, Apollo 13, Joseph King of Dreams. Here was a lot of these too. Of Pure Blood, another World War II Nazi one. My Fair Lady, Audrey Hepburn, and uh, Rex Harrison. My sister loves Audrey Hepburn. Little Women, Renona, Why or Renona Ryder, sorry. Uh, Joseph King of Dreams. Some of these that were in these rental box. Andersonville. 
Um, the Great Story of the Civil War, which actually is a really cool one about the Andersonville Prison. Wonder Woman, Collector's Edition. Oh, what else we got here? Howling 4, or Howling 5, The Bride, and another one. Alien. Oh yeah, and the clamshell case. Another one that Tuply might like. Shout out to him. Um, here's some DVDs that I got. Um, nothing real special. Um, you got Saw, uh, a couple Saw ones, um, Baby City Seduction, another Hitler looking one, Just Cause, uh, Silk, Super Size Me, uh, Out of This Earth, kind of strange looking, um, another Clash of the Titans version, a sealed copy of The Terminal, a couple sealed copies in here, uh, Burlesque. Like I said, I just bought them, guys. Uh, Satanic Rites of Dracula. It's one of the old Hammer films. Lost World. Kind of cool. I'm sorry if I messed with the camera there. Uh, Scarlet Letter. Uh, the Terror again. I already have that. They even have a Blu-ray in here, brand new. Uh, Bad Lieutenant. How much did they want for that? Interested. Two fifty. Um, then you have uh, Reefer Madness sealed. Oh God, gotta love that classic right there. Um, look at this thing. Who are you scaring? Some kind of like DVD interactive CD thing. Very weird, but it has Michael Myers on the front. Good display piece. Open Waters, another shark movie. Um, Imaginary Crime sealed. Dodgeball, never had that. Saw. Again, uh, what's this? Chameleon and Cocaine Cowboys. Cool. Sealed. Uh, another, uh, f like, four feature. Here we have Pacific Heights. Pretty Baby. And 61 again, which is a really good film. So, not too bad on the DVDs. Nothing, like, outstanding. But, man, 15 bucks. And then here's the last one. You got Anti Mamey. I don't know. Much about that one. Way the Gun, Criminal Law, Few Good Men, Big Daddy, G.I. Jane. Um, we're getting here into the Hideaway, Soldier, uh, Fantastic Football Bloopers. Here's one that I really like that I'm probably going to watch tonight. It, The Terror from Beyond Space. Oh, yeah. Gotta love It, The Terror from Beyond Space. What year was this? Um... Trying to see the original year on this, but I don't see it right off the top of my head. 1958. Oh, that's the original. Um, Dick Tracy, Apollo 13, The Crow, Charlie's Angels. Um, this is uh, Wedding Crashers, Sealed, Imposter, uh, X Files, a couple episodes, Butterfly Effect, Survivor. Here you have Dogstown, Philadelphia, Bound, Milk Money, Sin of a Woman, which is really good. Cape Fear, good one. Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, which was the only Mad Max one that I did not have on VHS. So, pretty sweet there. Um, Battlefield Earth, Four Rooms. I may be wrong, though. Maybe Road Warrior I need. Midway, Heat, which is a good one. Blade 2, Death Watch, um, Evolution, <laughs> uh, Shadows of the Vampire, Party Monster, Sealed. Yes, people, sealed copy of Bubba Hotep. Oh, yeah, starring Bruce Campbell, one of my favorites. That was one of the best scores I thought in this. Total Recall, another version of it. Um, What's Eating Gilbert Grape, The Silence of the Lambs, which I think is sealed. Nope, it's open. Scorpion King, Dragons. Or right, what is this? Dangerous? Yeah, Dangerous. I, dangerous? I don't know what the hell that one's called. Marty, The Running Man, Once Upon a Time in China, Sphere, Sleepless in Seattle, Kiss the Girls, Angela's Ashes, The Professional. This is a great one right here. Oh, I'm glad it's open too. They own The Professional or something they call it too. It's really good to have. Angela's Ashes, like I said. The Salt and Sea. Uh, Fast Sofa, Warlock. I think this one is like out of print or something. I'm not sure. Here is Graveyard Shift, Stephen King, Imaginary Crime, Swordfish, 
Hell Knight. Oh yeah, I gotta love Hell Knight. Linda Blair. And then, I thought this one was funny. Made in 1978, right after Star Wars, is the Star Wars ripoff, Battlestar Galactica. But it does have a cult following, and did spawn off a new show and stuff, but I thought that was great. But yeah, guys, for 15 bucks, I picked up all of this stuff that you've seen in this video. It's a little over 30 minutes, a little longer than I usually like to make my videos, but I wanted to go through and name off every single VHS that I had and show off all the stuff that I picked up in this run because I thought it was sweet. So I want to thank everybody who is tuned in to Thrift Shop and Flea Market Finds Volume 2 here in the dark. And I hope I didn't creep anybody out showing them Hell Knight or possibly, you know, one of these other creepy ones like It, you know, in the dark. No, I'm just playing. But anyway, guys, um, I love the score that I made and uh, definitely would be going back for more. So keep on a lookout for Thrift Shop and Flea Market Finds Volume 3. The uh, episodes will keep coming in the series. And yeah, guys, I want to thank everybody for watching. As always, if you haven't done it already, hit that subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Give me a like if you like what you see. And like I said, as always, guys, till next time, peace out. Thanks for watching.